We are back. We are back. Let's tune in to this knotless sleigh. So I'm doing a different method today. I chose to part her hair down the middle and then with the back portion, I did it from ear to ear. So for my first row in the back, it's gonna be a little wider than the rest of the um, rows on her head, simply because her nape was pretty short. So I added in more hair to make sure that her knotless braids don't slip out. When you're doing knotless, you wanna make sure that you're taking your time and parting the hair. And you wanna make sure that when you're parting them, you're parting enough hair out to where your knotless braids won't slide out and they won't be lumpy or bumpy. You wanna make sure you got the right parting. Parting is key to knotless braids. So take your time. Don't rush yourself to do it. Just pace yourself and focus on parting first and then we'll get to the knotless. So for this first row, I did it off camera, but I'm about to show y'all exactly how I did it um, throughout her head. So like I said before, parting is really important. You also want to cross check while you're parting the rows just to make sure that your parting is even. Now I like to go in and pre-section where each braid is gonna be. This just helps me make neater parts and it also allows me to um, know how many braids I'm gonna have for that row so I can prepare my hair for the braids. So the product that I've been using throughout her whole head is Shining Jam and I use the yellow container and I like to put it on her scalp first and then bring it to the ends of her hair and comb it through so that her hair won't really stick out the braids and it makes tucking easier. So now with um, starting the knotless braid off, I just go ahead and go in the braiding motion and then I just um, start adding the hair in and I use a total of about seven pieces. So what I'm going to do is insert a video of how I section my hair off for knotless braids in the description box. So if you want to know how I prepare my hair, uh, you can click on that video in the description box because I'm going to have that listed below. But I just put the first four or five pieces up at the top and then I braid it down and then we'll just keep it moving. So as I braid it down, I like to apply the shining jam to her hair as I'm tucking. And like I said before, putting the shining jam on the client's real hair helps to um, get the tucking better and it helps to slick the hair down so that it's easier to tuck. And it also reduces frizz. So you won't have any pieces sticking out the braids and frizzing out because you're laying them down with that shining jam. And this is key. This is key, y'all. Like you have to use your shining jam and tuck when you're doing knotless. You always want to tuck and I'm also doing the overhand method while I feed it in instead of the underhand method because what I've noticed is when I do the overhand feed in method it comes out neater for me and then when I try to do the underhand feed in method for knotless they don't come out as neat so I just stick with this method but if underhand works better for you then you can continue to use the underhand if you like the overhand you could also try that but my preference is just the overhand method and it's like the same thing if you were to do like regular feed ins but you're just doing it on a single braid and that's the whole process of knotless you're just feeding it in to every braid and this is why i say you want to take your time because you want to make sure that each braid is as neat as the braid before
And I also like a really full look when I'm doing my knot list. I don't really prefer a thin look. So I just make sure that I add the hair down to the bottom of the braid as well, just until it's full enough. And that's how you get that full look. So now I'm going in and I'm sectioning the hair off. And this is why I'm telling y'all about the middle section. The middle part helps to make both sides even. And what you see me doing, flipping the hair up, I'm just making sure that my part is like even, it's not crooked. And also that it's matching up with the other partings to the rest of the client's head. And then I'm just cleaning my parts up with the shining gel. Like I said, the key product to this, but you really want to take your time out. When you're doing knotless, focus on your partings. Parting is so important with knotless braids, y'all. Take your time and just make sure your parts are on point. Trust me. See what'll happen when you take your time? Yes, ma'am, that part is nice and crisp. Make sure you focus on your part and I cannot stress it enough. So now I'm just gonna be repeating the process that I did in the beginning of the video to the end of the video and I'll catch you guys at the end.
now I'm using the Vigorol foam with the olive oil in it. So it's the green label. And I'm just laying her flyaways down. I already dipped her hair. So now I'm going to just put it on her roots. And then I'm also going to put it at the ends. Because once you dip the hair and you put the foam at the ends, it just helps the hair from frizzing after they leave your chair. It, just, it still keeps the shine there and all of that. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have more great content coming for y'all for the rest of the year. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload because I will have more content coming for y'all. Thank you.